All right, so a bit of a different video today. We are exploring Singapore for 18 hours. Basically, I'm stopping off on my flight back home from Fiji. I have 18 hours to explore Singapore. So far, I've been stopped at passport control because there was my chip was not working. Something along those lines. Anyway, and the guy that was helping me out, his name was actually Stanley, the Singapore guy. What are the chances? Anyway, now I'm about to get the train into the city. I have no data, no cash. They're about to get the train to the place that I have booked. It's called the K space in something like that it literally looks like a little pod like an incubator like i'm about to time travel or yeah stay frozen for thousands of years but it looks pretty funny and it was cheap so i thought why not but first on the agenda is to find some food so yeah let's head into town okay i was so focused on the vlog and when i got in the lift i didn't even press a button to go anywhere so the doors open and i just stayed in the exact same place i walked out i was so confused now I'm heading down here, now I'm heading down to the downtown line and then it's like loads of stops, like 15 stops until I get to Chinatown so hopefully I've got this all right. <laughs> if not, I'm going to be stuck in Singapore for god knows how long. I don't know, is Singapore, is it dangerous when the sun goes down? I have no idea, can't say I've done my research so yeah. <laughs> Made it to Singapore, or made it to Chinatown. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused as to where I need to go. So I'm just gonna walk into this main part and hopefully someone can help me out. As you can imagine, I don't know the area too well. I screenshot a Google Maps from before when I actually had data. Oh my God, this place is amazing. So nice. All right, I think I'm gonna find somewhere to eat. And then after that, I'll have a search for where I'm staying. All right, we have found a place to eat. It is the Jai. I think that's our choice of cuisine for the night. All right, so I'm just reading the menu for this new place now. Struggling, struggling a little bit to understand. I'm just have to go in there and just, just point at something. All right, so I ordered stir fry goat meat. It was really fancy stir fry. It was the only one there, and a lime juice. Some of the stuff on this menu there was something called black fungus something black fungus what the hell is that and they just brought out this cooker so i didn't know this but i think they might be about to cook it in front of me just try some of the lime juice it's not as limey it's a little bit watery but it's really refreshing i'll give it a solid six out of ten of the lime juice all right so the food has come out around 20 minutes and um, put this in front of me and just put it on I'm not really too sure, is it already heated up? Because I don't, have, I don't have a clue what they're saying to me. It's cooking now though, I don't know, am I meant to be, am I meant to be cooking this? Also, I thought it was a stir fry, is it stir fry with like noodles? It just started bubbling up loads, that's turn it down. Honestly, <laughs> I have no idea what is going. I'm gonna turn it back on. Well, how, do I, how do I turn it on? Get my first bowl here. Let me give it a taste test. See how it see how it tastes. I just burnt my tongue out so hot. And it's spicy as well. Oh no. The thing is I didn't see the details. I just put goat curry stir fry or goat stir fry. Oh, this will be tough. At the point where I genuinely don't know if I can finish this. <laughs> or even hardly any of it. I'm trying to eat the goat meat because the goat meat is really good. But it's like, it's like they've got this sauce of a volcano. Like, it's so hot. I'm talking spice levels as well. And obviously, it's not obvious, but not the best with spicy food. This is volcano standard spice. And as you can imagine, I very quickly ran out of my lime juice. I'll do my best. Keep going. A few minutes later. I made the decision that I just had to get out of there. It was just so spicy. I'm not even joking. It was not even temperature wise anymore. It wasn't even hot. It was just every time I went to sip it from this little spoon, I could feel the spicy air, like, caressing the back of my throat. It was horrible. I kept coughing, it, coughing every time I did it. It's like 10.20 now, PM, and I'm hoping that my incubator, that's what we're gonna call it, the incubator, isn't shut yet. Because I actually had a situation in Fiji where my hotel, I got back at like 1 AM, and the hotel was shut. It was locked and I couldn't get in. So hopefully we don't have that situation here because I don't have any friends' houses that I can, I can stay at. So that would not be ideal. All right, so I had to ask around 
So I had no idea where it was. Obviously, I had the screenshot, so I couldn't actually get an accurate um, representation of where I actually was. They told me it was after the coffee shop. This is this. But this is the building. It was like, does this place not exist? And I've booked it. There's a place right there called Galaxy Pods, which is literally another incubator hostel. I'm going to have, to, I'm gonna have another look around, do a loop. But I have no idea where this place is. Oh my days, stumbling across, walking around right here. How small is this? We're going in. Oh my days, it's chicken at 3 pm. This looks mental. Dead 19. Could someone tell me what is a durian? Where they are, they're not allowed. I don't think I have any. My incubator. <laughs> incubator. But when the incubator's getting frozen for thousands of years, when I wake up, there's going to be aliens and dinosaurs roaming around the place. Right, I know what this looks like, but I can tell you that was not me. I just walked in, there was toilet paper in the toilet, so I flushed it. Okay, I'm using this one. <laughs> right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the stand flops there. If they get taken, someone will pay with their life. <laughs> to be fair, this is a dub. Fast as well as this fast. It's like, why would, why would anyone choose the slow one? Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, huh. <laughs> oh cool. I can decide which color wants to be incubated. I'll go for dark blue. Oh my god, it says insert card. I was not given a card. Why do I need why do I need the card? Because I got in so late, I think one of the one of the people who were already staying here just let me in. I don't think anyone actually official let me in. Um, I don't know what card that's for, but it's, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> Also, I brought my bags here with me. Well, not hardly at all, just got one bag and this one. But I've seen people leave their suitcases outside, but like the stuff I've got is like it's all camera stuff that's quite expensive, so I can't be risking that. But yeah, this is my, my bed for the evening. I'm actually really excited. This place is hilarious. I love like adventures like this. So yeah, this is so different. I'm putting you to bed now. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Time is 7 a.m. I believe. I wake up at like 6.30. Yeah, we're gonna head out of here now. I hate like rushing, stuff like this, being in a rush. So I'm just gonna get there early, get some food, chill out, maybe have a nap. Just get myself sorted out, ready to leave. Um, at, I think 12.30 or 12.45, so yeah, let's get a move on. I tell you what, it's a really lucky thing that when I arrived yesterday, someone was coming out to get their bottle or something because you need a card. And that's why I quickly stopped recording when I was walking up the stairs all of a sudden I stopped recording because someone was there and I was speaking to him. I was so lucky he let me in. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not have had a place to stay. All right, I think I kind of know my way back already, not on my own, to the train station. I'm not going to get breakfast out here just because I kind of don't really trust <laughs> myself ordering something that I'll enjoy. Going off yesterday's experience, so I'm going to wait till we get to the airport, then I'll get some food. They are playing some Ed Sheeran, so they've obviously a good taste of music. But yeah. Oh, it's lovely weather. Too. Lovely. Beautiful. Oh shit. Some of the infrastructure on these buildings here in Singapore are so sick. Look at that one there. They're stacked on top of each other. Pillars, 
big bits of like foresty green area. It's so cool. That is wildly tempting, I must say. It's open as well. Oh, do I just quickly get a McDonald's? Okay, what am I feeling like today? That the breakfast wrap is calling my name. Yeah, sausage. Oh, meal, what do you get? Mocha frappe Oreo. That is my breakfast. Looking unbelievable, add to all. Okay, done. Let's go. Fast, efficient. It looks absolutely sensational. Let's just try the hatch brown. I'm going to leave the burger until I get on the train, I think. But... We made it. What an adventure. I've actually, I love videos like this. I haven't made it. This is like my first spontaneous like vlog, but really fun to make, especially when you don't know what really what's going to happen. <laughs> so I made it to the airport safe and sound. So my adventure, my 18 hour adventure through Singapore is kind of over. I leave in about four hours. As I said earlier, it's my stop off on my way back from Fiji. So I have got plenty of Fiji content coming soon. Just takes a little while to edit those ones because they're a bit longer. But hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, we'll make more stuff like this, like spontaneous vlogs, adventures, stuff like that. As I enjoy them, I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.